Hello everybody, this is Jared Chunks 21 This is my first YouTube video. This is going up on... This is being recorded using a uh, cell phone. So, it's not going to be the best quality, and I apologize for that. It's just something that's going to have to happen. So I thought I'd show off one of my new builds for my deck. Uh, it's my Dark Magician deck, and it's kind of like my real one that I have in real life, but it's a little different. So let's jump right into this. So for the extra deck, you've got your Dark, your Ebon Illusion Magician. I've run in two of those. I've got a Flare Metal, a Number Eleven Big Eye, a Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon, an Ebon High Magician. Side deck, I've got a Dark Magic Attack and a Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Now, in real life, those two are both side decked. I'm also, I've also got a Max C side decked, and I've got a Jar of Avarice or a Pot of Benevolence side decked, just in case I need it. Uh, now, for the main deck, you've got your three Dark Magicians and your three Magician of Dark Illusions. Just to give you a quick rundown, it's treated as a Dark Magician. It's pretty easy to special summon out from your hand. Uh, you've then got your Triple Chocolate Magician Girl. This is just for drawing effect and to get rid of some of the dead draw spellcasters you've got. Uh, two Summoner Monks. This will allow you to get your Dark Magician, your Chocolate Magician Girl out and then go into your rank 4 plays to break out Dark Rebellion Xyz. You then got your Triple Magician's Rod, which lets you search for all of your powerful spells and traps that list Dark Magician. Uh, you then got your Triple Circle. Now this lets you look at the top three cards of your deck. If there's a Dark Magician or a spell or trap that lists Dark Magician, you can add it to your hand and then rearrange the remaining cards in any order you choose. And you don't have to shuffle your deck. If you don't draw, or if you don't get any of the spells or traps or a Dark Magician, you get to rearrange your three cards, and that's that's a pretty good effect. Uh, you've got your three Eternal Souls. This allows you to summon the Dark Magician, makes it opponent, immune to opponent's card effects. The downside is when you blow up, if Eternal Soul leaves the field, all of your spells and traps, all of your monsters are gone. Sorry about that. All of your monsters are gone. It lets you special Dark Magician from your hand, or graveyard, and it lets you, or it lets you add a Dark Magic deck, a thousand knives from your deck to your hand. You've then got your double Dark Magic expanded. This is either going to power up your Dark Magicians or make your spells and traps immune to destruction and negation. You've got your double inheritance. For me, I've got one of them side decked, and the other one is in the main deck. And it lets you banish two spell cards from your graveyard, add a spell or trap that lists Dark Magician in its text. Or Dark Magician Girl in its text. You've then got your Double Navigation. This lets you special the Dark Magician from your hand, and special a level 7 or lower Dark Spellcaster from your deck. Uh, you've got Max C, Max C Challenge. I'm not going to go into what that, is, what that is right now. I'm kind of uh, strapped for time here. You've got your Pot of Benevolence, a recycling card. I'm a firm believer in having stuff to recycle and letting you add stuff back to your deck or hand. Solemn Warning, really good card to just say no, you're not going to summon that big beat stick that's going to make my life a problem. Uh, Double Quaking Mirror Force, really good card. Didn't realize how good it was until I got it. And now I just love it to death. Uh, Twin Twisters. I'm running one of them right now. I've got the, uh, for my real deck, I've got the other one in one of my more fun play decks. I've got a illu uh, double illusion magic. This lets you tribute a spellcaster, add up to two copies from Dark of Dark Magician from your deck and or graveyard to your hand. Terraforming with Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Locks out spells. For your opponent, as long as you're not playing spellcaster monsters, Grand Horn of Heaven, another card to stop your opponent from summon, uh, special summoning. Dark Bribe to negate spells and traps. Effect Veiler, let it's a spellcaster and a tuner, and it lets you uh, 
lets you negate monster effects by sending it from the end of the grave. Uh, you've then got Paladium Oracle Mahad. The good thing about this is, as long as it's not drawn with your opening hand by what I tested online and in real life, if you draw it, you reveal it, special summon it from your hand, it's a 2500 body, and it lets you, if it battles a dark monster, its attack is doubled. And if it's destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special a Dark Magician from your hand or hand deck or graveyard, I do believe. Yes, hand deck or graveyard. Now, down here, you'll see a card that I haven't actually seen that many people play it. And I don't know why. In this deck, I've pulled off numerous times using the combo with it. Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Not only is it a 3200 body, so it's the strongest card you've got in your deck right now without effect power-ups. It requires you to tribute two level 6 or higher spellcaster type monsters. And during either player's turn, when a trap card is activated, you can negate that card's activation and destroy it. What this means is, if you're running, if you've got this, fa if you've got this it's got to be face-up for activation. To, to activate and resolve this effect. But if you've got this out on the field and you're running into stuff and you've m mistakenly left one back row, whether you didn't blow it up with a uh, uh, dark magic attack or you didn't, you didn't banish it using the circle or the illusion and you run into mirror force or quaking, this can say no to it. It will tell them, no, you're not going to stop my attack. You're not going to do this shenanigan play. Which is really important. So, this would be my Dark Magician deck. And again, this is my first YouTube video. So, there's no real script. This is just an impromptu video after watching some YouTuber videos. I thought I'd get into it and just start watching some plays and everything. So, I apologize for any errors in my speech and for my really silly voice to be honest with you i'd greatly appreciate it if you like comment subscribe i will try to respond to every comment if i can i'll pin the good ones and tell me how do you feel about dark magicians do you think they're a good deck do you think after links come out that the deck will be better or worse just let me know